I think I'm starting to feel like a broken record. Gaijin continuously misuses the battle rating system to produce crappy results over and over again, and it happens every single time without them noticing. G'day ladies and gents, and welcome back to War Thunder. Today, we're going to have a chat again about the new battle rating changes. Gaijin have proposed some new battle rating changes on today, November the 23rd, 2022. Now, these battle ratings are mostly nothing burgers, except for a couple of key ones, but they demonstrate a decisive misunderstanding about the way battle ratings actually work and how they actually function in the game. Oftentimes we might think of battle ratings as the ultimate way to balance something by using the player statistics and looking for aggregates and trying to find a ma sort of magic in between, but Gaijin have tend to uh, look at these statistics and these numbers and have gone about them in the wrong way. What do I mean by this? A lot of the times the battle rating approach has been top down, meaning the battle rating is often moved down of a plane that is performing poorly, but we don't tend to look at the other side of that coin. Planes that are performing excessively well tend to get moved up, but it takes a lot more of, uh, of motion to do that. A plane that is doing excessively well will tend to do excessively well for a little while, and only then after clubbing for months and months will it be moved up to the top. Not only that, but oftentimes Gaijin will allow premiums to do this in order to generate a stream of revenue. And whilst Gaijin is indeed a uh, company that needs to make money, and this is a free-to-play game, so they don't really get money from anything else other than premium sales, or shop sales rather, uh, this does throw out the battle ratings and tends to ruin them. I've already made several videos on things like the SU-25 and the A-10 and how much of a bad move I believe them to be. And this is simply because they are premium aircraft that anyone can buy that immediately get you to a point where you are broken overpowered by having missiles that no one else can really truly defend themselves against. If you are in a plane that doesn't have flares, you are going to be a victim of an R-60M or an AIM-9L. Simple as that. These types of planes just simply ruin a battle rating. They throw the balance out, they ruin the harmony, and then of course Gaijin goes and changes the other planes around it instead of dressing, addressing the offending aircraft. So let's have a look at these battle rating changes. The first one we have is the Harrier GR7. Going from 11.0 to 11.3, this is a good change because the Harrier GR7 has four AIM-9Ls and a ridiculous amount of flares, giving it a high level of impunity as well as a decent ability to fight back. This change is extremely good, and I'm very happy that it is around. However, this is where the good changes end. There are no battle rating decompression coming at all. So the F-14A, which is the king of top tier, and the Mirage 2K, which is a very close second, are still staying at 11.3. These planes are very much worthy of 11.7. They are just simply better. The Matra Magic 2s are extremely strong, and the eight missiles that the F-14 can carry, as well as the AIM-54s, uh, and of course, the excellent radar are all three things that just mean that these planes are flat out better. They are better than all the other 11.3s by quite a long shot, and of course that is not represented in the battle rating system, and so I believe the F-14 and the M2K should be moved up to 11.7. I will, of course, do a deeper dive on battle ratings and what I think should be the correct battle ratings for jets, uh, but this will be in another video. I'll be working on this one very, very shortly. So let's get on to the bad battle ratings. We have the F-104A for China and for the US going down to 9.7 from 10.0. Of course, this is an extremely trash change. This simply demonstrates a lack of remembering of when the F-104A was at 9.7 last time. Now, there are plenty of things to put the F-104 in its place, namely the SU-25, the uh, brand new MiG-21 SPSK with the R-60s, you know, it's not that brand new anymore. It's actually almost a year old. Wow, time flies. But there are plenty of other planes around this battle rating that can deal with the F-104s fairly well. So it won't really do that much to change the way that it is at those lower tiers. It might change it at the higher tiers where it no longer sees the 11.0s, but the difference it makes, it's going to be very minimal. There's not a whole lot that it can do that it can't kind of already get shafted by already. Well, the only thing that it will do is put it in the face of the 8.7s, namely the MiG-15 BIS and some of the F-86 Sabres. These are the, the prime ones that I want to talk about. These are the common ones, but of course you've got A-4s, you've got other, other aircraft around that battle rating, but you know, that's not my point. My point is, every single plane at 8.7 is subsonic, and this is a Mach-2 capable plane. 
Of course, it's not capable of dogfighting, but it is capable of energy fighting, and there is no other way to defend yourself against an F-104A. There's no way to fight back. And that's the most important thing. It's going to be down to the F-104A to make a critical mistake, like turning and dogfighting a plane that is absolutely better than turning, that you're not going to really be able to deal with them unless they just make a crucial mistake, or unless something that is broken overpowered at the same battle rating takes them out without being taken out themselves. And this is really bad, because there are only a few planes that can hold the F-104A to account, but there are plenty of other planes, more so, more planes than that, at the lower areas that can just do nothing. And that's the problem that I have with this plane. The F-104A is just naturally anemic in this battle rating, and that's because of the compressed matchmaker. Now, of course, I will be making a video on that. Please stay tuned, get subscribed, and I will be uh, uploading that one very, very shortly. Now, let's move on to the next bad change. We have the J6A MiG-19PT and MiG-19S going from 9.7 to 9.3. Honestly, Gaijin, what the f***? This is ridiculous. 9.3 for a MiG-19. The king of dogfighting, 9.3. And this is all because of the other planes at this battle rating. It's absolutely down to the AIM-9Ls and all the other plane, all the other the missiles. The A5C with its Matra Magics. You know, every single plane at this BR that is capable of slinging these broken, overpowered missiles is ruining this matchmaker. It's destroyed the F-104s, it's destroyed the MiG-19s, and it's going to destroy everything else because it is just so damn good. And this is why I'm so angry about this. This is why you can probably taste taste the, 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 the frustration in my voice because I just don't understand why Gaijin looks at their battle ratings and goes, hey, this plane isn't doing so well, and just leave it at that. They should investigate why. And you might, you know, you might see them there be a new plane that's introduced, and it happens to be the MiG-25, or the sorry, the Su-25, and it is doing really well. And you look at why it's doing really well, and it's because it's got two extremely good, easy, no-skill missiles. And that's plain and simple why. There is no other reason why the Su-25 and the Su-25K are doing well. It's simply down to the R60Ms. And of course, the A10 Thunderbolt is the exact same thing. Of course, the A10 has plenty of flares to back it up. And that kind of leaves it a little bit less vulnerable to planes like, you know, that, that rely on their missiles. Let's say the, you know, Harrier GR1 or other planes with missiles that might be able to strike from further distances like the MiG-19. And this is where my problem lies. Gaijin is using that top-down method and going, hey, instead of this overpowered plane fighting it, it will be a step lower, which one, doesn't fix the problem, and two, makes it worse for everything beneath it. Because now you're putting a MiG-19 that is 9.3 down to 8.3 battles. It will see 8.3s. So it will see the Javelin again. It will start seeing the F9F Cougar. It will start seeing all the other problems that we have previously been sort of alleviated of in the previous years. And we're, I feel like we're running around in circles. We're, we're not getting anywhere. We're not doing anything to actually make the game a better place. We're just sort of going about things and reactionary type movements to just sort of band-aid a problem. And this is the big thing that I have an issue with because you're not focusing on the long-term health of the game. You're just focusing on a quick cash grab or you know a band-aid solution to a problem that requires a lot more deeper development and thought. And Guardian is taking the easy way out here because they know for sure that the Su-25 needs to be overpowered for a little longer to sell more premiums. And the A-10 needs to be at its battle rating for a little bit more longer to sell more premiums. And this is absolutely disgusting behavior. This tells me that Gaijin really only cares about cash. And it's very sad because this game is really good and there are plenty of really good things about it. But there are just several problem premiums that are causing these issues that are frankly, ruining the battle ratings. Have you ever seen an English Electric Lightning, a regular tree English Electric Lightning in the game in the last six months? And the answer will probably be maybe once or twice because it has just been, just competed out of the market. And that's simply because you cannot do anything once an R60 is on your way or once a uh, 9L is on your way. It's just impossible. And there's no way that you can fight it and the only way that you can do it to, to alleviate yourself from the stress of not being shot down is just to not pick up the thing entirely. 
and that's why I've stopped playing the English Electric Lightning, because I can't bear to be killed by 9Ls anymore. In fact, I've almost pretty much stopped playing this whole battle rating. It's completely destroyed it because of the premium syndrome. And you know what, this isn't even the first time we've seen this. When the Harrier GR1 was first entered into the game, it had massive problems. It was extremely powerful, very easy to get lots of kills with, and it often saw planes that could do nothing about it. Of course, this is no longer an issue because it is just simply power crept out of the matchmaker now, but the problem existed quite predominantly in the battle ratings of the time. And after a while, no one wanted to play against the GR1 and the GR1 just kept getting up tiered because no one wanted to face it. And the simple fact of the matter is, this will happen again and again and again. I'd like to remind you guys that 6.0 exists. Of course, no one ever fucking plays the battle ratings because it is just so void and is so full of bombers that it is just ridiculously frustrating to play. I don't want to fight JU-288s all day because all I'm going to do is just get shot down by a 20mm tail gunner. And of course, that plane is a premium. It is extremely competitive, it sells a lot, and of course, Gaijin doesn't give a, give, give a damn. And that's the worst thing about it. This keeps on happening, and it stays this way for such a long time that it kills battle ratings outright. And once you kill a battle rating, good luck getting it back, unless of course you introduce this thing called battle rating decompression. And this is what I want to talk about in the next video. This one is uh, starting to get a little long in the tooth. I feel like I've been screaming like I'm blue in the face. And of course, you guys have already heard this argument a million times. Gaijin needs to stop using this approach because it is quite frankly killing the game for a quick and scummy cash grab. Anyway, ladies and gents, that'll do it for today. I hope you sort of took well to my frustration. It's always difficult to see these statistics and these changes going through to the point where they're just exhausting. I really love this game. I really enjoy playing this game and I think having it in a place where every battle rating can be at least somewhat viable doesn't even have to be every plane just every battle rating has to have a decent grouping of planes and a decent smattering of balance that, that's all i ask for and i genuinely don't think that that is such a hard thing to ask for and of course a bit of decompression will always go a long way especially with the recent additions at top tier but ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching I sincerely appreciate your support. If you would like to support the channel and uh, you believe that going to my decal and using the Gaijin affiliate link is a little bit too much cocksucking for, uh, for Gaijin at the moment, you can always go to the Air Models link. You can always go to my Patreon. And of course, you can always become a member or something like that. I, I don't have any support tier things. I, I wish I could, but I can't think of anything good. So, uh, of course, there's merch. There's the Discord. Um, and of course, you can follow me on socials. That would be awesome. I would absolutely love that from you guys. But of course, anything supports the channel well. Anything sort of that helps the algorithm out, whatever. Uh, again, this is getting a little long in the tooth. So I'll leave it to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I sincerely appreciate your time. Take care. And I'll catch you next time.